Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make some sweet potato vegan burgers. Good times. They look amazing, right? Well, they would be to me if I took the silly glasses off. Trust me, they are. They're super easy, super delicious. I want to thank Claire Barzan on YouTube for suggesting this recipe. She said, Barry, can you make some vegan burgers? I said, yes. Can you make some vegan burgers that don't fall apart? I'll give it a go. And I have, and they taste good. Really hope you give them a try. If you want to try them, hit pause on the video now. Write all of these ingredients down. I just put a picture of it on Instagram, at My Virgin Kitchen, that's my account. And this guy, what's his name here? Just maybe lol. You know when you lol, you put lol on social media and you don't really mean it? But I actually just did laugh out loud. Uh, Levush, but quite a rude comment, which for a sweet potato burger was quite extravagant, I thought. Uh, Levon Kupchan. So uh, cheers, mate. This, guys, is how you do it. So we'll start off with our sweet potato. Now, I've got to be honest with you straight up here. I'm being a bit lazy today. You can put it in the oven if you want, but to save time, I put mine in the microwave. So give your sweet potato whoa, a good old peel, then cut it into disc shapes, whack it into a microwave-safe mixing bowl. Don't put it into a non-microwave-safe mixing bowl. Bad things will happen. Just ask my dad, silly dad. Uh, yeah, microwave, 11 minutes, I did it for. You want to get it nice and mushy. So it might be one or two minutes here or there, more or less, depending on the power of your microwave. Take it out, that bowl will be very hot. Let it cool down completely. Once it has cooled down a bit, give it a little mush with a fork. Tip in your garlic, paprika, coriander, red onion, pepper, and some breadcrumbs, and give it a darn good mix together again. Now at this stage, I had a bit of a Homer Simpson oh, moment. I forgot to add my sweet corn in uh, with the rest of the other ingredients, so I did that separately, mixed that through. But if you're thinking ahead, uh, just mix it all together until you've got a nice, big, sweet potato patty mixture in a bowl, ready to be moulded. That's my moulding action. Shape your cooled sweet potato mixture into patties on greaseproof paper, then whack it in the fridge for five minutes. And meanwhile, just quickly toast up your burger buns in a frying pan with no oil and put them to one side. I gave them a nice little spread of tomato chutney, but you can put on whatever you like, really. Now go back to the pan you toasted your buns in, add a little olive oil, just a little shallow depth on there, get it nice and warm before pushing in your sweet potato patties, flipping them after two minutes until they're nice and golden brown and resting them on kitchen towel. So what we've effectively done guys is taken that sweet potato, which is a superfood, turned it into a super superfood. It should be flying around with Superman. It should have a red cape on it and everything. I can't really make that happen, but you know what I'm saying. In terms of the fillings for the burger, go to town and do what you want. I got my smeared toasted base with that tomato chutney on it, slammed down that caramelized sweet potato patty, rocket salad on top, a little bit of avocado, then the toasted smeared lid on the top. So, so good. I've already eaten it, but here's a little clip of me eating it. If you do give this a try, don't forget to send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram at My Virgin Kitchen or on the Facebook page. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Helps the channel grow. But thanks Claire for the recipe suggestion. Kind of like growing vegan food and vegetarian on me. It's not like growing on me, but I like it. So I hope you give it a try. See you next time.